Space Chain is launching commercial blockchain tech into space. The decentralized infrastructure provider will pr participate in two missions scheduled for June aboard SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket, sending an Ethereum node, Bitcoin nodes, and the teachings of the Quran into space. Joining us now to discuss is Space Chain CEO, Z Zhang. Welcome, Z. Uh, hi, I'm ha happy to participate in it. It was a very interesting uh, conversation you just had there. Yeah, absolutely. Well, but, but what you're doing is also equally incredible. Perhaps you can explain in your own words your mission here and how do you choose what goes up into space? Uh, so yeah, we started uh, our company 2017 with my co-founder Jeff Garze, who was a third uh, ever Bitcoin developer, one of the Bitcoin core uh, developers. So we actually uh, really started with uh, integrating uh, Bitcoin, another project, Qtin, which is also our partner. Uh, then we come to a stage, then you know it's getting more uh, um, mature, our technology is getting more mature, and we want to interact with a more open source developer and uh, with a um, yeah, we look at the field, and uh, Ethereum now the most sophisticated ecosystem at this moment. So we uh, work with Ethereum, and uh, now we're looking for uh, like what's next. Yeah, you're launching Ethereum and Bitcoin nodes into space, and that's being done for security purposes. Can you go a bit into that? Tell our audience, explain why this is necessary. Uh, for sure. So uh, yeah, we did a, a, our Bitcoin launch uh, at the end of 2019, and now we're launching our second generation. So what's uh, what, what we're doing is that we're keep it launching our uh, Bitcoin wallet payloads into the International Space Station. So it will be installed by Astronaut, then inside the ISS, then it will play a function that will keep our, our private key with uh, our uh, multi-signature design uh, for our clients. So basically, we, uh, you know, for our clients, they have a, a multiple a signature infrastructure that has one of the key inside of the ISS then can be this uh, security place for them to uh, tr make transactions. So think of a, a situation that if we're hackers or uh, to breach your uh, ground network, or if there's a, a potential, uh, uh, yes, hacking of your and any other system will be this independent uh, controller of the private key to keep our customers' money safe. So, so you have to basically have the astronauts go in and, and service this? Is that it, for the second key? I mean, they're going to have to sit there and, and start uh, dealing with that? So uh, yeah, that's how the install installation process goes. So basically, we join. Uh, so what happens to the International Space Station is that they have regular resupply missions. So we basically joined uh, our supply mission and will join another one next month. That you know send to. Uh, so we have a uh, yeah hardware sent to the astronauts and uh, so they will spend some time to in terms of like uh, stand, uh, actually installing inside the ISS. So basically, uh, on the communication wise, we'll be able to uh, share the bandwidth of uh, uh, ISS. So with the, with that, I mean, there's a, usually a massive delay transmitting data to and from space, and there's also uh, like with GPSs, there's a new gravitational time dilation, and the, so you know you're actually out of it in a different time. Um, how does that affect uh, what having a node in space? Yeah, uh, very very good point <laughs> you just mentioned there. So uh, because we're mainly working with enterprise. Customers, so our main customers are digital banks, crypto uh, custodian services. So we're talking about their, their their average transaction size is actually rather big, and they care about security more than the, the speed actually for per transactions. So uh, actually, sometimes being slow is the advantage because we have observed some uh, cases that. Uh, when the hacker wants to uh, hack into the system, they want to transfer the money out as fast as possible. However, we work in the backwards, so we can actually slow down the transaction because it delays. And also another factor we can add into the the, the, the industrial uh, the the process design is that we can say, oh, unless ISS pass through the certain ground station for ten orbits the transaction won't go out. So we actually give an extra buff time for the our customer to react to any kind of potential breach. So is this actually basically a bank in space? And are you anticipating some sort of interplanetary uh, species and, and anticipating that kind of future? Uh, yeah, so in a future perspective, this is also a common topic inside of the company is that we say if we actually move to Mars, then uh, the money we, how, what kind of money we're going to use, right, for, uh, based on the consensus of the people, then uh, I'm not sure. 
Yeah, <laughs> uh, that's a possibility. You, so, so this is a SpaceX. You guys are working with SpaceX, and I, I didn't see the word Doge in anything you guys are doing. Uh, so for us, like we, you know, we care about our customer, and we're not, currently we're working with Bitcoin, Ethereum. Uh, we haven't touched uh, Doge yet, and uh, uh, we're interested, but uh, we haven't made a move. 